I think that um, uh, within the next 10 years, you'll see these all over the country. Not only can we do it safely and effectively, but we can do it much sooner. Of course, we're in Texas, so we've got to do everything bigger and better. So we're excited to have the first one in Houston and in the, in the U.S. I believe that it really will change the way we treat patients and really will result in improved outcomes. We've been involved in um, stroke treatment research and uh, developing new treatments for many years. The treatments for stroke are all very time sensitive, so the faster you treat the better. So um, in a sense, uh, we've always been interested in uh, speeding stroke care. The UT uh, Houston uh, Stroke Program is one of the largest stroke programs in the United States. We treat about 1,800 stroke patients annually on our primary acute stroke service at Memorial Hermann Hospital in the Texas Medical Center. Uh, the way that uh, this specific project got started is that um, um, there was two articles from Germany uh, showing that uh, you can put uh, a, a CT scanner, which is the type of brain scanner that we're going to use, that you can put one of these on an ambulance. So when I saw that in the uh, literature, I said, we should be able to do that here in Houston. We've been very fortunate to have multiple partners in the Mobile Stroke Unit project, including Fraser and Neurologica. Fraser is a third generation, 57 year old company. We build emergency vehicles and now mobile clinics. We met Dr. Grotta at an event where he was talking about strokes and he was discussing a program, I believe, over in Germany where they have a CT scanner on an ambulance and my mother, Janice Fraser Griffin, and my father, John Griffin, were at that meeting and they went up and started talking with Dr. Grotta after the meeting and that's where the collaboration began. The Fraser leadership was, had heard about our mobile stroke unit project and was very enthusiastic and supportive. And over the last several months, we've been partnering with them to build a, an emergency vehicle, the mobile stroke unit, from scratch. So this was a really fun unit to build. Typically, we have a 5.5 kW generator on our units. With this one, we actually have a 7 kW, so we need a little more power to run the CT scanner, so we just upped the wattage on the generator slightly. You have to build the ambulance, which Fraser knows how to do now. You know, people will then want to know how we did it. We had to add additional structure in the front wall, obviously when we lock this unit in place, but to redesign the floor because it has a one inch aluminum plate with a track built in. We did some modifications. The aluminum plate is actually the subfloor and the top layer for where the CT scanner sits. Because of the stroke program that we have at UT Health, there has been a long standing interest in acute stroke treatment. The mobile stroke unit is, uh, promises to be a major advance in uh, how we manage stroke patients. So strokes, most strokes are caused by a blocked artery in the brain and brain cells die in direct uh, relationship to how long that artery is blocked off. Paramedics can't give stroke treatments and the reason is, is that uh, we have to do brain imaging and be able to look at the brain substance with an x-ray before we can deliver the stroke treatment. What the mobile stroke unit enables us to do is to put that diagnostic equipment in the ambulance so that we can diagnose the stroke right there in the field and then deliver the treatment right there in the field, which will save a lot of time so we can get the artery open um, much earlier and hopefully save that left side of the brain uh, before paralysis occurs. 
We treat over 30% of all ischemic stroke patients with TPA, also known as the clot busting medication, and that's 10 times the national average. When you call 911, not only will the paramedics come to your house, but so will our mobile stroke unit. And immediately we will evaluate the patient there on the scene and treat them right there. So this should save at least an hour of time. The Seratom is the specific uh, portable CT scanner of the brain that we're going to be using for the mobile stroke unit. Neurologica is the only company worldwide who manufactures portable CT scanners. The Seratom is critical to have in the mobile stroke unit because the ability to obtain a CT scan of the brain prior to giving TPA is part of the criteria to give the clot busting medication. It's the only FDA approved acute stroke treatment uh, that we have. If you think about it, uh, if you prevent one patient from having to go to a nursing home and all the costs associated with the nursing home, that would probably pay for just a few patients that you save would pay for one of these uh, mobile stroke units. Uh, because the added cost over a um, regular ambulance is just the cost of the CT scanner, which is a, several hundred thousand dollars, but the cost of stroke are, in this country is in the billions when you consider it's the largest cause of disability in, uh, in older individuals in the United States. If we can determine if somebody's having a stroke and administer the drug before they get to the ER uh, and really reduce the time and reduce the damage that's being caused, who knows what we can do next. We hope to shave off an hour of time from the time that person has their stroke symptom to the time they get treatment. And if we show this, then we anticipate that that a decrease in stroke treatment time will translate into improved outcomes. If that's the case, then UT Health will be positioned to work with the City of Houston and other cities to then uh, incorporate mobile stroke units into their existing emergency medical services. My prediction is that 10 years from now, every city will have a number of these mobile stroke units. So the City of Houston, I think, would need five or six of these scattered around in, in uh, different uh, strategic locations in the city to be able to reach stroke patients quickly enough. Um, and uh, I think that will be the case in every city if we show that uh, by treating patients faster, we get substantially better outcomes. This is what I know how to do. I know how to treat stroke patients. I know how to do it well. Personally, I'm going to be devoting uh, most of my time to this, so I guess that's a pretty good barometer of how excited I am about, about this project.